All right, so as you can see, I'm back here on my new install of Arch Linux running DWM. And um, I got to say, I'm really happy with how this came out. I originally didn't want to show this because I just had, you know, the default install with the numberings here on the tags and no bar because I hadn't had time to move everything. I also had no background, no theming, nothing. It was very boring. And I just didn't feel like that's doing DWM justice if I show it off like that. But yeah, I've gotten most of the stuff done here, you know, like the icons, uh, the date, uh, audio control, and then just storage usage uh, on the SSD. And then I've got my animation. I think I will add back the weather and uh the network status but yeah i'm thinking like my <laughs> it's my desktop it never moves so maybe the the wireless status or ethernet status isn't really necessary you know i don't even have an ethernet cable it's kind of crazy how we rely on wi-fi so much that at home i don't even have an ethernet cable so <laughs> if i were to write a script i'm just kind of going by assumption of how data is going to come in but you, you know, I mean, I don't know. I always want to see how it's coming in before I write something. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's done pretty much. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty presentable now. And I've been gaming a little bit on here. It's quite interesting gaming using DWM because of the uh, nature of this window manager, right? Um, it's quite interesting. And I think that's a interesting topic for another video. But in this video, I will just quickly show you guys how to edit slick reader and add a background because um it's something that is the it is it is documented i will put the arch wiki page here but it's very very easy to miss <laughs> but anyway so if you install light dm and use this as your display manager to log in to uh dwm which is okay it's personal choice right some people just like to log in on the command line and then just do a start x right and they will put um most of their commands in here in this file here and just start dwm that way and this is fair right but you know if you want to have a graphical interface where you can sort of select and even have like different desktop sessions this is something that may be interesting for you and uh, the default light dm greeter looks very ugly in my opinion i would just get slick greeter it's the most uh simple looking one that i've seen so far it doesn't really have many um things going on in it by default and it just it looks good so one thing though is just setting up the background image uh if we were to go into the configuration for a uh, slick reader uh, type our password oh <laughs> I forgot to uh, text editor okay anyway so if we come here this is the configuration for slick reader and um, yeah it has just a, a listing here of I'm not too sure if these are all the configuration options, but I'm guessing these are the most commonly used ones, at least. Uh, but you can probably check the uh, GitHub page of this for more info on that. But uh, the command that we're really interested uh, in is this one, the background command. So you can set here the uh, path to the background. Now, you know, usually you got your home directory and things like that, and you would just put your pictures in there and then just tell it, okay, look in here. Now, the only problem is, is that uh, like DM cannot read from your local directory. It has to be in, uh, in a path that it can read, such as this one, the user share backgrounds path. So you may be thinking, oh my God, it's not working. I can't set my background, but you have to make sure that you put it somewhere that like DM has access to. And I would just go into here, into user share backgrounds. And in this directory, you can read it. I created a sub one called anime. And then I just put my Rin wallpaper here. 
and it works. And it's so straightforward, so easy. You can just save that right with a Control X or whatever other text editor you have, however you save it, and then just log out and log back in. And then, I'm right, sorry, you can log out and then see first if your um, wallpaper has changed, which it will. And you don't need to edit any permissions. I've seen people edit permissions and um, I haven't done that. It's not necessary for me. I just dumped the wallpapers in there. So anyway, yeah, I think that this is interesting if you're setting up your install for the first time and, you know, if you haven't read the whole, uh, you know, configuration page on the Arch Wiki, it may be a little bit off because in the file itself, it does not tell you, hey, it needs to be in a place where LightDM can access. So it might be missed easily, I think. Uh, so yeah, I guess... That's it for this one. I'll be making probably some more DWM things because I have a lot of stuff that I've con configured. Even um, the compositing, I've done it differently than I did before. And I think it'll be interesting to share that. But anyway, if you appreciate the content um, and this tutorial, the fat hamster, the Rin wallpaper, please give a like and a sub because it'd be greatly appreciated.